Hey, coin collectors, and you're probably looking at this coin and you're saying, wow, and that's exactly what I said when I got it in my change. This is part of the America the Beautiful series. It's the National Park of American Samoa. Let's take a look at this coin from the beginning. You know, sometimes these coins, you see the U.S. Mint putting them out and you see the pictures and it doesn't really do justice to the coin. And this is one of those occasions. Sometimes they look better in the pictures from the U.S. Mint than when you get them, but this one is just a beauty. You can see that this is relatively, and I'm telling you, it's relatively um, uncirculated. Um, and how can I tell that? Well, one of the things you can tell is just there's not a lot of degrees of wear. And then people say, well, what about this and this? What about this here? These are all marks. This coin mark right here is actually from the edge of another coin. You can see the little ridges in the coin sticking into it and making this... Uh, cut right here in front of George Washington. It says United States of America on the front, George Washington facing to the left, Liberty under his chin, a couple other cuts from being in the, probably in the money bag or being um, uh, put together with the other coins after they were minted. It says in God we trust behind him, P here, and that's for the Philadelphia mint uh, in the United States, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, quarter dollar here or 25 cents. If we tip it up, we see that it's, um, a copper nickel clad copper. You can see the kind of the copper coming through there. And then when we tip it over, we see the beauty of it. And of course, when you tip American quarters over, you need to flip them, not tip them. So if we go this way, it's gonna be upside down. So what we wanna do on these quarters is just flip it like this. And the reason I have this other little coin underneath it is because that gives me a lot more depth to the picture. All right, so now we see it, and it says National Park. Over here it says American Samoa. Over here it says E Pluribus Unum. And it's two really cool uh, creatures here from the park. And you need to uh, know that the American Samoa uh, National Park is essentially a rainforest. And this is two Samoan fruit bats. It's a fruit bat mother here, and the fruit bat baby. And of course, the fruit bat mother's hanging um, upside down because that's how uh, fruit bats uh, roost. Um, and so you see the mother and the baby here. And so this is the actual uh, right side up one, even though it looks like the mother is upside down. Uh, that's because she is. Uh, it says 2020 on the bottom. Right here it says RM. Can you see that RM right there? And it looks like there's actually something between the R and the M, if you look at it closely. And this is Richard Masters, Richard A. Masters. And this is PH over here, uh, Phoebe Hempel. So there's the PH for Phoebe Hempel, the RM for Richard Masters. And this coin, they made a bunch of them and they made it in four different um, mints. They made the Philadelphia mint, which is the P here. They made a Denver Mint. They made a San Francisco Mint. And this coin in 2020 came out in a W, or the West Point Mint. The West Point, if you find a W on here, you, you're not going to find it in general circulation because they're worth about 15 or more dollars. Uh, you're only going to find it probably in one of the sets. Uh, the S will be in the proof set. The W will be in probably uh, the best place to find it is the Silver Mint set. Um, and the W stands for West Point Mint, and that's the really valuable one. The reason it's so valuable is it's because it's a U.S. quarter, but they only made 2 million of them. So a lot of people, there's a lot more than 2 million collectors that want to get them, so they're willing to pay big money for them, even though they're paying about 60 times the value. So uh, this coin uh, in the D, or Denver Mint, they made 212 million. In the Philadelphia Mint, they made $286 million. And if this coin is extra fine, it's worth about a dollar. Uh, uncirculated a little over a dollar because the Philadelphia Mint, because they made $286 million, there's plenty of them around. Now, it's going to be worth probably $4 or more uh, if you can get the San Francisco Mint one. But, of course, that's going to come out of a proof set. So if you're looking for the P and the D in this, not going to be worth too much unless you get it uncirculated. And even then, it's going to be worth a dollar and two dollars. These are um, not really uh, old coins, but they're kind of fun coins. 
And when you look at these coins, what a lot of people do is they look up the place. Um, and so when you look up American Samoa, you'll see that it's uh, this national park, the National Park of American Samoa is 2,600 miles southwest of Hawaii. So it's the essentially the furthest national park from anything in the national park system. There's three islands, uh, Tutuila, Tutuia, uh, Tau, and Ofu. And almost all of the area of the islands is um, volcanic, uh, post-volcanic kind of rainforest. Now, when this this came out as part of the whole series of um, coins. And of course they did the, the many, many of the state ones first, and then they shifted over to the territories of the United States. Uh, again, this is the, it's just same old John Flanagan front on here that we've had for quite a few years now. And you can see that it's John Flanagan because, let's see if we can get that, right here above my thumb, there's a J and an F. And that's this particular image of George Washington has essentially been on the coin since 19, 32, I believe, when it was still made of silver. It's 5.67 grams, 8.33% uh, nickel, the rest of it's copper, so essentially 91 plus percent copper. The diameter is 9.55 inches, and the thickness is 175 millimeters. The edge is reeded. All right, well, that's all we have today, and hopefully look in your change and see if you can find one of these babies, because they are just fun to have, fun to look for, and it takes a while, once you get them, to figure out how to look at them sometimes. And um, these particular coins are not very valuable and probably won't be, but they're very beautiful. And that's kind of what we're looking for here. Have a great day from DC Coin Wealth International Coin Channel.